Step number one is make sure your dog likes the flavor of the toothpaste. So I put a little tiny bit on my finger. Ooh. So obviously the dog likes that. Typically you don't want to have a pretty little thing on top of the toothbrush like this because they lick it off in about two seconds. And then there you go, no more toothpaste. So a really easy cheating way is take the toothbrush and the toothpaste and go like this, where you're literally squeezing the toothbrush, and, or the, <laughs> the toothbrush, the toothpaste into the toothbrush. So you have this all throughout all the bristles. Then just hold it out in front of the dog So you can see that kind of shy of the toothbrush. Not sure what to make of the camera either, but just be very still. Now notice the dog is going, hmm, there's more on there. I can lick more on there. And then, oh, there's the first nibble. There's another nibble. And before long, we're going to have the dog chewing a little bit to get the rest of the toothpaste out of the bristles. Ah ha ha. What a good doggy! Oh, you're so good. Oh, good job. Real easy way to get the back teeth. Once your dog is comfortable and starts to chew on it pretty regularly, you can start to manipulate the toothbrush in the dog's mouth. And you can actually start to brush them a little bit better. Oh, what a good dog. <gasps> I flipped it so I can get the top ones. Uh huh. Oh, what a good, good dog. You're so good. Get that side. Get the good job. You want to try that again? Let's do it one more time. Give me just a second. You are a good baby doll. You ready? You ready? So notice the second time, hardly any hesitation with the toothbrush. Went right in for the kill. Oh, good, good, good boy. Yeah. What do you think of that, huh? Oh, good boy. Oh, good job. So that time I rotated it just a little bit 